Kowai au, ki te tahua toku pāpa ko Takite Mutuaka, ko Ngati Manupoto te iwi, te aitanga maha ki te hapu um, no Turanga Nui Akiwa. Ki te tahua toku mama ko Tainui te waka, ko Ngati Manupoto te iwi, um, ko Urunumia te hapu no Otorohonga. I work in an area called endocrinology. And we look at hormone abnormalities. The research I've been doing recently is looking at thyroid disease, particularly looking at thyrotoxicosis. The thyroid's like a little butterfly gland in the neck and it produces a hormone which I always describe as being like the petrol for the body. And thyrotoxicosis is when there's too much of that hormone, so everything gets sped up. When I started working in endocrinology, I found that I was um, looking after whānau members more often than I ever had before. And that kind of got me questioning what's going on with thyroid disease for our Māori here within Waikato. Like most scientists, I went to the literature to try and find out what was going on um, and found that there was a paucity of information around thyroid disease in New Zealand and particularly for Māori. We've pulled together a very large prospective cohort of 353 people with an overactive thyroid. The findings from that work have shown that thyrotoxicosis is more common for Māori than non-Māori, and that's a new finding. We didn't have that information before. Um, we found that the rates are double for Māori than they are for non-Māori here within the Waikato region, and particularly for one small group that causes thyrotoxicosis, something called toxic multinodular goiter, and that was up to five times higher for Māori than it was for non-Māori. We were also able to show that for young Māori, the condition presented more severely with um, about 35% higher levels um, and about 35% higher clinical findings of thyrotoxicosis. So they were sicker at the time young Māori were when they presented. There's multiple differences between the two populations and those differences drive these disparities. And by introducing those in using very complex statistical models, we were able to actually show that the disparities we'd found reduced when you controlled for all of these complex issues. And that's important because if we want to look at ways in which we can improve health disparities, we can't just have one fix. We need to look at all the different factors that lead into it.